Welcome to Lighthouse Kinship's devotional video, Rely Tomorrow on God, Provision, Psalms 145, verse 18, NLT. The Lord is close to all who call on him, yes, to all who call on him in truth. Jeremiah 17, verse 7, Amplified, blessed with spiritual security is the man who believes and trusts in and relies on the Lord in whose hope and confident expectation is the Lord. Jeremiah 32, verse 17, NLT. O sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Hebrews 11, verse 1, Amplified. Now faith is the assurance, title deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Sunday, July 2nd, 2023, Monica and I were walking down the road from the Lakeview Campground, Rochester, Indiana. When the God of heaven and earth began to take our feet from the home property and community we had lived in for 35 years in a state that has roots of generations after generations. The whirling winds of fear, doubt, and just plain being scared ripped through our hearts, souls, and spirits. The very thought of not having home, property, or our family, which had already been ripped apart by our greatest enemy, Bobby and I started making our plans for what we thought our Savior and Lord was saying. James 4, verses 13 to 15, TPT. Listen, those of you who are boasting, today or tomorrow we'll go to another city and spend some time and go into business and make heaps of profit. But you don't have a clue what tomorrow may bring. For your fleeting life is but a warm breath of air that is visible in the cold only for a moment and then vanishes. Instead, you should say, our tomorrows are in the Lord's hand, and if he's willing, we will live life to its fullest and do this or that. Wait, stop. What did verse 14 and 15 say? Let's read those verses again, but in the Amplified this time. James 4, verses 14 and 15, Amplified. Yet you do not know the least thing about what may happen in your life tomorrow. What is secure in your life? You're merely a vapor, like a puff of smoke or a wisp of steam from a cooking pot that is visible for a little while and then vanishes into thin air. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and we will do this or that. February the 21st, 2018, Bobby and I were leaving a hotel in Orlando, Florida, where we had made our plans. We did truly believe the conference we traveled over 400 miles to in Orlando, Florida was the path our Savior and Lord was putting our hearts on. James 4, verse 14a, Amplified. Yet you do not know the least thing about what may happen in your life tomorrow. What is secure in your life? By 3 o'clock p.m., February 21, 2018, Bobby and I were in the emergency room in a hospital 20 minutes from the state park we were traveling to for the night. Our high-top conversion van was now being towed to the local junkyard where Bobby and I were confused, petrified, injured, and crushed emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Where has our Savior and Lord placed our lives since February the 21st, 2018? Are you relying your tomorrow on God? Joshua 3, verses 3 and 4, Amplified Classic, commanding the people, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, your God, being born by the Levitical priest, set out from where you are and follow it. Yet a space must be kept between you and it about 2,000 cubits by measure. Come not near it, that you may be able to see the ark and know the way you must go, for you have not passed this way before. 
This concludes our devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. Rely tomorrow on God. Provision. Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. Amplified Classic. And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, that is, separate yourselves for a special holy purpose. For tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9. Amplified. A, ma a man's mind plans his ways as he journeys through life, but the Lord directs his steps and establishes them. Psalms chapter 18, verse 19, NIV. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here at Winnemac Park Veterans Memorial Swing and Bridge, Winnemac, Indiana. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel. Hit that little notification bell so that you won't miss our next stop. Please give us a thumbs up, liking our videos, and help us spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms. Thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you, and also your prayer requests so that we know how to pray for you.